Kitchen. A few more things to do. Okay, so today I'm going to do a backsplash. Um, I chose this tile and I've already cut the edge off. They're made to interlock. Cut the edge off so I got one that will go right there in the corner. We'll work out from that. I got the one for above it. So it should, two should fit. First I'm going to do the bottom. Um, then I'm going to lay these down, down here on the bottom, but with something a little special because remember I've got that space back there for planters, for herb, fresh herbs in the kitchen near the windows. Um, that set all this countertop back, so I've got this space back in here which is uh, about seven and a half inches. Of course, these are only six, but that's okay, it'll all work out. Um, what I'm going to do is cut this tile so it'll fit. I've got one that pretty close matches up to the, uh, the countertop that I'm going to adhere here. Um, might as well mark it now. What I'm going to do is adhere, adhere that there, that will be behind the stove. I'm going to put dividers here and here so that I can have uh, herbs, dry herbs, stuff like that, that I would uh, normally use in the prep area, oils and stuff I use for cooking, and over here, cleaning supplies that will go because that's close to the sink. It's sort of handy because I can put stuff here, and I'm not really worried about when I'm driving them sliding off counters. I don't out of cupboards and stuff and it's all right here handy. So um, let's get to it. Like on pretty much every what happens to everybody uh, I have all the the nice trowels and stuff. Well not everybody but I do. Uh, I've got all kinds of cool stuff. I've done tile work before not recently. Um, do you think I could find it? I know I just saw it. It's here. I thought it was in the house and storage thing. So I went out and bought the little plastic uh, ones and uh, it'll be good enough for this little bitty job that I got to do. Plus this is nice and narrow because I'll be able to get back into here and out here uh, without too much trouble. So uh, let's see. Got a couple other things. Uh, when I cut these, I've got a, the same diamond blade I used cutting the countertop apart. I can use to cut these tiles because they're ceramic tiles. Um, we'll get that done and then uh, I picked out some grout. I haven't picked it up yet, but hey, on the way to work tomorrow. I'll get that, but we're going to get all this stuff up and let it dry. So uh, let me grab a couple, cut a more, couple more out of their things and we'll go from there. Okay, so drew a line here. So the uh, the first one, um, I'm only coming up to about that. So Oh yeah, if you want to see professional tile work done, uh, go look someplace else. As I said, I haven't, I haven't done this in a very, very long time. Say, since 79 or thereabouts.
this I found. Now the fun part is I gotta get this piece figured out. We're just gonna leave a large trunk with a flat edge that hopefully I can use over there. So I think I bought enough, but they haven't stopped making it yet, so, all right, so four and a half. See, this gap is four and a half. This bottom one is four and a quarter. So I'm not going to worry about that little quarter inch. And this happens to be... Okay, let's see how this fits.
Okay. Uh, let's roll. These little spots I will fill in with the pieces I've cut off um, before and whatever. Um, I'm not too worried about this because keep in mind the hood's going to be here. It's going to hide a lot of this. Unless somebody's laying on the stove, they're not really going to see it. But I still want to get it covered as best I can. Um, okay, before anybody asks, yes, I'm worried about it cracking. Um, but in order to, this is one piece, this will be another piece, this will be another piece. So they aren't really tied together except for with a little bit of grout. And uh, if it cracks, that's probably where it's going to crack is between the, uh, the boards. So let me get this piece cut and then we'll get the next one. Actually, I think I can put the next one up, then cut this.
Well, there you go. So that's pretty much what the backsplash will end up looking like. Let me bring it over. Uh, now, like I said, I'll start working on the tile down here and all that. Um, again, if you want professional tile work, look someplace else. But I think this is going to look uh, look nice. And uh, apparently I've, I've got enough to do one square over here. Um, so I'm going to have to pick up a couple more pieces, a couple more squares. So, But that's all right. I know Home Depot's still got lots. So until next time, and I'll have all this ready. See you later, YouTube.